Hey you! Are you trying to heat up automotive clay? Do you have any idea what you're doing? Do you want me to show you an easy way to make an oven that can do that for you? Okay then, let's get started. Automotive clay is different than traditional clay in that it's activated with heat instead of water. It's applied warm to the model and when it's cooled it can be sculpted with razor sharp lines. You can't heat the clay with a traditional kitchen or toaster oven because they run too hot. You need a specialty oven that runs at a much lower temperature. I'm going to show you how to make your own clay oven real cheap. Here's what you're going to need. A medium sized box. some tapes, some spray adhesive, a desk lamp or something to hold the light bulb, a low wattage, preferably below 60 watts, incandescent light bulb, some aluminum foil, and a sharp Ulfa knife. The medium sized box should be sealed at one end and have all its flaps on the top for closing. You're going to line the inside of the box with aluminum foil. Start by tearing off three small sheets of foil. Don't make them too big because once they're covered with glue this will be easier to lay them into the box. I've taped the top flaps down with masking tape to hold them out of the way. This will make laying the sheets in the box much easier later on. Lay down some scrap paper or newspaper on your table to help with the overspray from the spray adhesive. This stuff gets very messy. Coat one side of each of the foil sheets. Wait for the spray adhesive to get tacky before you apply it. It won't take very long. Now that the glue is tacky, carefully start to line the inside of the box starting at one end. Having short foil pieces here will make this step go much easier. Don't worry if this starts to look a little messy, it won't matter. You just really want to get coverage on the inside of the box. If you don't have spray adhesive, don't worry, you could do the whole thing using tape. You can use duct tape, masking tape, or some type of double sided tape will work. I pre-cut some tape into small pieces and have it ready to go. Carefully lay the foil down on the bare parts of the box and tape down the edges.
When you're done lining the inside of the box, you can untape the top flaps and carefully apply foil to them as well. Again, remember, you are going for coverage, not looks. You want to get a low watt incandescent bulb, the kind that give off heat. 60 watts or below will do the trick. Stay away from compact fluorescents or LED bulbs. They won't work. They don't give off any heat. You will need something to hold the bulb and give it power. A desk lamp works. I found this old mechanics work light. It works as well. Now it's time for the Ulfa knife. Cut a hole on one end of the box big enough for the head of the desk lamp to fit snugly in. In my case, the mechanics light. Once you've made the hole, make sure the bulb can be situated inside the box. You want to make sure that you capture all the heat that it gives off when the flaps are closed. Your box oven is now done. Your bulb should be situated at one end and the clay positioned at the furthest point from the heat source. Now let's get the clay ready. On a clean, dust-free surface, we are going to cut the automotive clay. In your clay toolkit, there should be a knife. Be careful, it's very sharp. We're gonna use the knife now to cut the clay into cookies. Don't cut them too thick. The thicker they are, the longer it'll take to heat them up. Take another piece of foil and make a tray by folding up the sides a few times. This will give your clay somewhere to sit in the oven. Place the clay cookies in the box at the farthest end from the bulb. Spread the clay out, do not stack it. If you put the clay too close to the bulb, you could liquefy the clay 
and then ruining it and you'll have to throw it out. Once you have placed enough clay in the box, turn on the bulb and close up the box and wait. I did my first check after about 10 minutes. It was still very stiff and not very usable. So I put it back in the oven and waited. The bulb I used in my oven is a 43 watt bulb and it took about 30 minutes to heat it up to a usable state. Having a stronger bulb would make this go much faster, but again I stress, do not go over 60 watts. It is way too powerful and will liquefy your clay. Once you take the clay out of the oven, it immediately begins to cool down. Only take out as much clay as you think you could use and leave the rest in the oven to stay warm. Cold clay is very hard and brittle and can't be formed. Hot clay is nice and malleable and ready to be applied to your model. Remember, only take out as much clay as you can apply to your model at any given time. Leave the rest of the clay you've cut up in the oven to stay warm. Let's recap. You want to get a low wattage incandescent bulb that gives off heat. Don't go higher than 60 watts, it'll be too strong. Stay away from compact fluorescents and LEDs, they don't give off any heat. When choosing a box, don't pick one that's too big. It will take a long time for the light bulb to heat up to that much space. If the box is too small, there won't be enough room for the bulb and the clay, and it will melt your clay. Try and find one that is a reasonable size for the amount of clay that you are using. If you're having a hard time finding a box, you can make one using two sheets of 20 inch by 30 inch foam core from the dollar store. Take the first sheet and measure 5 inches in on all sides. Take a sharp knife and cut out the corners. Take your knife, score the remaining lines, but don't cut all the way through. The scoring will help fold your walls up and create a box shape. Take some tape and then seal up the corners. Once the corners are sealed, you can then line the inside of the box with aluminum foil. Let's make the top for the box. Cut a piece from the second sheet that's 13 inch by 23 and a half inches and make a one and a half inch border on all sides. Take a knife and cut out the corners. Now score the remaining lines, but don't cut all the way through. Fold up the sides, and then we can begin to tape the corners. Now you have a nice snug lid for the box. Up 
apply foil only to the top surface of the box, not to the inside walls. Here are a few tips. When working with automotive clay, you will generate lots of shavings. Keep these, they are reusable. You can pack them together and put them back in the oven. If you're working at home, you will want to protect the table or surface you're working on. Put down some paper to help collect the shavings and keep your work surfaces clean. Don't work on a carpeted floor. While you're sculpting, Shavings will fall and get ground into the fibers and ruin your carpet. Automotive clay is a fantastic sculpting medium that lets you realize complex forms quickly. It's fun to work with and some people find it really relaxing once you get into it. Hope this information helped. Thanks for watching.